Hi, in this video, I will teach you how to create um, CRUD application using uh, JavaFX. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be using Apache NetBeans IDE 17 and Scene Builder. This one, but in the future, I will teach you in advance because uh, this video is for the beginners. So I'll be using Apache NetBeans IDE 17, and then for the advanced, I will teach you. I'll be using uh, IntelliJ IDEA community, uh, IntelliJ and Java FX Scene Builder 2.0. So let's proceed. Uh, first is a uh, new project, then click this uh, Java with Maven, then click this uh, FXML, Java FX Maven archetype, then next. Then let's type uh, JFX, then CRUD tutorial. Uh, for, for example, that is uh, Java FX uh, CRUD application. Then our package, let's put uh, CRUD. Then uh, we will using Java FX version 13. This is uh, SDK uh, 13, so let's replace for new uh, JavaFX version automatically. So just type 20, then JavaFX Maven plugin version. Let's uh, put uh, the latest, which is 0.0.08. Okay, then that's it. Okay, then um, finish. So we will create a CRUD application project. So the Maven will uh, building our application. Okay, it is the same in um, uh, IntelliJ, but in the IntelliJ uh, there's a lot of uh, configuration using uh, this. Uh, tutorial but this is for the beginner so let's proceed uh, this is our application so let's try to run what is the output then this is our uh, fxml file so let's try let's see this is the output the default output so if we switch to secondary then it switch to primary view so let's uh we will not using this uh this uh, fxml primary and secondary so let's delete then this one this primary and secondary controller let's delete then we have a remaining uh java class which is um up our uh, class then this app extend java application uh, application class from fx this one so let's try uh, first is we need to add uh, our uh, UI so in other if you if you can't see this uh, empty fxml then select this other then select this folder java fx then click this uh, empty fxml then clicks a uh, button then this is a view so let's put a uh, student this is crud then this is the default package then replace to this one uh, com that aldrin that crud means this project uh, this folder so this uh student fxml inside the uh, this project com aldrin that crud then next then let's uh, add controller controller to this uh student fxml this one so let's uh, select then next then let's add controller then select the package so we need to select this package this one com dot aldrin dot crud so this this one then uh, finish so this one so let's uh, show 
the student so replace this primary to student fxml uh, don't uh, include the extension which is uh, this one fxml because um, they add this uh, extension so as a default uh, size we need to remove this uh, size to get the um, prepared size of this uh, our application to this one so first is let's create a uh, application okay it is connected so set your uh, able you to connect this to your send builder tools then option then proceed to java then click this one then find your uh, scene builder installation folder then set it then it's okay then apply then okay so let's back to student fxml so let's uh, design okay container Uh, let's let's find the grid pane this one click this one okay then delete this uh, column one if it is highlighted to yellow then you can press delete button then proceed to controls then let's add label okay then click drag and drop then let's put uh, first name then next is uh, middle name the next uh, last name or sure name okay okay so let's uh when it, if it is blue you can resize your uh, your grid pane then click this uh, control uh, press control then click the label all the label then um, select this uh, uh, highlight uh, horizontal alignment then select right then that's it then back to contain containers then select this uh, grid pane then select this number uh, uh, column one then let's add text field proceed to your controls then text text field then text field then text field the next is let's add button so let's uh, de redesign this uh, okay blue blue okay the next is let's add bo button for our new let's new Okay. Then click then co press control C to copy then V to paste. Then let's type save. Then control C control V then uh, update. Then control C control B then then delete then let's add a uh, search let's add search here
then add text field text field okay then let's put um, from text uh, for example let's add search then next um, table T table view from controllers uh, controls okay okay then if it is highlighted by gray the column then you can press control then C then control B control V then let's uh, rename double click then uh, put first name then double click then middle name then double click last name okay so click this one and click this one then let's um, put uh, with minimum width which is 23 then let's put 0 oh no. then 0 ok then control s to save then let's see uh, our ui let's run the project Okay, it's running then this is our um, UI then let's add a uh, title click the app class then then here be after does after the initialization of scene then let's put a uh, stage then set title then um crud application okay java java fx crud application then let's try run so in this project we can uh, use uh, latest version of our uh, SDK this is 20 so this is uh, not functional but in next video we will um, set the variables and uh, database connection so this is our um the version of our sdk which is 20 versions then this is uh if you change to uh compiler if you use uh records or other um update of java you can change it to 20 this uh maven build so same as in uh, Intel J then uh, scroll then this one change it to 20 so it will turn to your compiler into GDK 20 so let's run the project okay there's no problem if we use our record here for example and in, in next video we will demo so thank you guys for watching see you next video bye